Chapter Twenty Four of Citadel of Fear by Gertrude Barrows Bennett. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Citadel of Fear, Chapter Twenty Four A Lonely Traveller. Across the rough ground of an empty field two miles beyond Undine, a dark figure stumbled and panted beneath the unheeding stars. Once or twice it fell among the hard rows of old, dry corn stubble. One might have thought it some strayed child, lost in the night, but the figure was too tall, too slimly graceful beneath its flowing outer garment of black. It was a weary, courageous figure that had come far, far, and all the way on foot. For the bright galleys of Telepolan were the only means of travel that slim figure knew till its time of grief, and in the one long terrible journey across the outer world it had learned little, by reason of being kept close by enemies. But to Telepolan's children were certain birthrights. No homing pigeon could have come more sure and true than that slim, tired one that stumbled among the stubble rows. The night was not so still as it had been. A wind was rising. It blew in sudden gusts, like the breath of an invisible giant. The long cloak flapped and struggled, wrapping hinderingly about the wearer's limbs. Away to one side blazed the lights of the chateau-like farmhouse of whose acres the stubble field was a part. The house was full of flowers, lights, and laughing people, for its owners were entertaining many guests that night. But the cloaked one was no guest of theirs. In a desperation of thwarted haste it stumbled on, as indifferent to the gay human throng in the distant house as the stars were indifferent to itself. End of chapter 24